pleased to be joined in the first segment of tonight's show by Mr. Wade Woodrow Woodson, who is the CEO of TMG Marketing, uh, and we're going to be discussing some energy and telecommunication services. Wade, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, marketing and distribution of energy and telecommunication and business development domestically and internationally, you've got 10,000 representatives, re re revenue. How'd you get going? <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm just really a product of the, uh, actually, the training system. And what happened was uh, a friend of mine came to me a couple of years ago. My background was insurance. It wasn't in marketing. It wasn't in sales. But I was at a, a crossroads at that point in time where my company was purchased. You know, we tell me I had to re-interview for a position I created, and I need to find a plan B, an alternative, because I want to make sure that if I, you know, with the way things are going now, people are losing their jobs and things of that nature, I want to have something to fall back on. So I was told that at this point in time, we could get involved with telecommunications. It was a wealth trend, and I could help people save money on their services, and by me helping people save money on their services, I could make money. So it sounded like a win-win situation to me. And from that point in time, all I did was just duplicate the system I was shown, and it worked for me. And I've been able to help a lot of people at the same time, because not only do I get a chance to save people money, but also I get a chance to actually show other individuals how to launch their own little brokerages also. Now, you, you told a story that a lot of people are going through today in America, and especially mm -hmm. in our state, mm -hmm. about uh, companies that downsize and you look for other opportunities. What made you get, become interested in this opportunity, and uh, why energy? Well, two reasons. First of all, it was a good friend of mine who told me about it. And I trusted his opinion at that point in time. And at the same time, also, I knew that the energy area was, you know, it was the next wealth trend. I heard about the deregulation of energy. I went to a couple of presentations. You had Warren Buffett talking about positioning yourself in voice over IP and energy. Now, I didn't have the money to invest in my own company, but when I found it was a way for me to position myself where I could get paid in the industry, at the same time have a, a small upfront cost, it was a no-brainer for me. Now, wait, what is uh, Five Links? Who is that? Five Links actually is a marketing company. Um, I'm actually an independent representative, and I market services through Five Links. Five Links is out of Rochester, New York. It started like in 2001. And all this is a company that market all the central services, services that people use on a daily basis. And what they do, they market it for Fortune 500 companies. We acquire customers for the company. And those companies pay us a percentage of the bills on a monthly basis. And these are loyal customers. So if you have a company like a, a, mobile, a, a mobile company or energy company who decides they want to get a service, they come to us. And every month that customer pays a bill, and a percentage of that bill goes back to the representative who helps get the customer. Uh, the, the right time for potential entrepreneurs to position themselves with an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You have to worry about, is it the right time? Is it not the right time? Mm -hmm. And, you know, naturally things were changing in your career path. So what made you think this was the right time to do this? Well, because <clears throat> there was a wealth trend going on. Normally what happens with wealth trends, we don't find out about them until after they pass us. You know, in 1980s, you had the PC industry that um, started to transition. When you and I both came into the workforce, the computer's as big as this wall, and now they're this small. You're dating yourself, <laughs> right? be careful yeah. here. <laughs> well, you know, but that's the way it used to be. And the thing about it is that you had people like Michael Dell who saw the value of investing in these little boxes and resell them. In, 19, in, the, in the 90s, you had the deregulation of the uh, telephone service. Judge Green, 1988, decided that AT&T could no longer monopolize everything. And you had these little companies come in like Sprint, <coughs> MCI, WorldCom, Excel. And so the next wealth trend right now is voice over IP, energy, and text marketing. Dig voice over IP is just stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. Fancy name for digital home phones, okay? We were Comcast. You know, that's what they no, do. No, we're on Cablevision. Cablevision. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We want to make sure we make that correction. I'm sorry. Cablevision. I'm sorry. Cablevision will get upset if they, you start promoting I'm, Comcast. I'm here. sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry about that. I apologize. I'm going to get a letter. <laughs> I apologize. But they do the same thing. They actually are. Uh, uh, they market services to their customers who they're going to make phone calls through the internet line. That's where everything's moving to us. So that's why this is the right time because the industry is young enough that our average person like myself or anyone else, some, some of your um, constituents, they can get involved and help grow the industry and make money at the same time to help them out on the revenue side. Now we talked about five links. Uh, what is Global Links? 
Global Links actually is a phone service, phone company that's owned by Five Links. That's their own personal voice of IP company. Highly rated. And what they do, they save money, they cut people's bills in half because it's, it's digital home services. And they do everything from DTA boxes, which is just a standard modem, to applications. And so that's just Five Links' own, own company of the own phone service that they own. And Global Links, they, they reach out to customers only in New Jersey or are they throughout the region or the state uh, or national? International. Uh, international. International. North America, Canada. I have customers in Canada. I have customers in, in Nigeria. I haven't been to Nigeria in a while, but have a thousand customers there. Uh, in the uh, Latin markets, the Asian markets. Because uh, what it is is that with the voice over IP services, it's unlimited local long distance service, and it's ch it's cheaper than making a regular phone through a call through a landline. It's like sending an email. So as a result, you have a lot of international markets who are taking advantage of it because they could call outside the country at a discounted price. Okay, and Wade. You've talked about some of the essential services that you market. Can you go through them, uh, what the essential services sure. are in your market? Uh, that's the beautiful thing about the company itself. We market services people are going to use anyway. So we don't change any buying habits. We don't ask them to buy anything they wouldn't buy any other time. All we do is show them how to shift the dollars. What I do is that I'll just take a representative, a person who's looking for an opportunity, and I'll show them how to acquire customers. And all they'll do is show somebody how to shift the dollars through them versus paying directly who they're paying. So we have mobile services. So you have your own mobile company, uh, cell phone company. Every 24 months, you, friends of yours, are gonna do one of three things. Either they're gonna add a phone, they're gonna change the carrier, or they're gonna extend the contract. Well, well that well, goes on all the time. All the time. Everybody's houses. Somewhere. Exactly, so, so my business partners, they all have websites where all their friends and family members could do that right through them. And they have all the major carriers. We have security service, Internet service, satellite TV, uh, uh, identity, uh, Five Links Identity Guard, text marketing, merchant services. We even have our own little tablets, okay? So everything that people will use in addition to electric and gas, which is deregulated now, every bill that someone will pay in their house right now, they have ability to pay themselves, get a kickback on their bill, and then the best thing about it is that not only do they save money, but they have the ability to help other people save money also. And by telling people how they can save money, they make money. Can other people get involved in this? Absolutely, absolutely. All they have to do is um, get in contact with me. Uh, I, get my, um, I give you my phone number and email. My phone number is 908-531-1130. Uh, or they can email me to my name. It's very easy. Wade, W-A-D-E, Woodson, W-O-O-D-S-O-N at yahoo.com. And I can tell them how to get more information about the company. We're looking to expand right now. We're trying to identify some key leaders in this area from all diverse markets that could take advantage of this opportunity. It's a very diverse opportunity. The money is green, so it's available to anybody. Who so wants how to do you get it. compensated? The more customers you sign up, the, it, it, it's... Well, you get compensated. We have like 11 different ways that you get paid. We get paid, the biggest way is residually, which basically means that you get a customer one time and you get paid month after month after month, year after year, for a lifetime of the customer. One thing that's great about it, if you're a representative with the company and you acquire customers, your, comp your customers can never pay off the bills. They don't pay off the bills. You have an a, a electric and gas bill you pay every month. You have a phone bill you pay every month. So if I was to give you the opportunity to save money on your electric and gas bill, all you got to do is ask you one time. Then every month you're going to pay your bill. And that's the residual thing. That's a great thing about it. The customer, I don't have to go back to you again and ask you to get energy again. <laughs> you already right. have the service. So what happens is the, uh, the representatives get paid residually month after month. And we have other type of bonuses that can get paid, weekly bonuses, compensation bonuses. We have a lot of, a lot of awards they get. So it's, there's 11 different ways to get paid. But the residual one is important because the residual income means that you can go to sleep and earn money. Most people are involved in a linear income environment where they exchange their time for money. What we do, we do something one time and you get paid for the rest of life on it. So it's a great deal. Wait, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us on the show this evening. Hey, the pleasure is Explaining uh, some of these uh, carriers that are out there and what people expect, because there's a lot of marketing going on in this. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and uh, a lot of folks don't even understand how the process works. I think you did it pretty well in explaining that. Well, all right, like I said, once again, I give you my number. is 908-531-1130. That's my phone number directly. And you can email me at wadewoodson at yahoo.com. And I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very all much. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.
For Wade Woodson, I'm Chris Bolwage. Please stay with us after these messages. We'll be back with Stanley Neron of the Office of Youth Services talking about youth issues going forward. Welcome back to our city. I'm pleased to be joined in the second half of the show by Stanley Neron, who is our coordinator of youth services here in the city of Elizabeth and does a great job in making sure the youth have some activities, not only all winter long, but also moving into the summer. Stanley, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Good to be back. Yeah, it's been a while since you and I did it. It's been a while. Yeah. You've been on with Alonzo, though, right? Yes. Or AJ, as you call it. AJ. Or Hamburger. Or hamburger, right? Hamburger. I know him as Hamburger. <laughs> Do you ever go on YouTube and look up Hamburger? Plenty of times. Plenty yeah, times, we've seen, yeah. We've seen Hamburger. Yeah, we got to, yeah. we got to, maybe we should do a show someday of just Hamburger Clips on YouTube. The best of Hamburger, Yeah, the right? best of we Hamburger. Can, we can yeah. do that. So what else has been going on with you? Well, we're staying busy. You know, as always, we have the youth enrichment programs that we've been working on. Uh, we have a new addition this year where we started the SAT programs, and that's actually, it's actually in the second year. So that's doing pretty well. Um, Tell us about that SAT program. Well, the SAT program is a enrichment program for high school seniors and uh, high school students rather from ages 14 through 18 who are interested in going to college. So what we do is we give them preparation courses for the SAT program. We actually test them when they come to us. We have a, a test that our um, instructors give them where we test them to see where they're at with the SATs and their aptitude tests. And uh, the results have shown that they improve two to three hundred points um, after they've taken our course. And it's held at the library um, twice a week um, for about ten weeks. And we do two sessions um, throughout the year. And the SATs, uh, when they improve, they have better shot at getting into different universities or colleges. Totally. Um, they definitely have a better chance of, of getting into, uh, you know, an, an institution of higher education. Um, we also prepare them to understand the, you know, how they can get money to go to college. Because, you know, one of the things, if you score very well, you have chances of getting scholarships as well as getting good grades in, in high school. But we also um, do workshops on how to get scholarships and how to apply for financial aid. So it kind of prepares them for the next How many level. participants do we have for this, Stanley? Uh, approximately every year we do about 60 participants. All right. How do they know about it? Uh, we do the library, through our network, we're building future leaders, our, our youth services program on the city website, and we also communicate with the counselors and, and principals at the different high schools here in the city. And do they have to sign up? They have to sign up. It's free to all City of Elizabeth residents um, if they go to a, an Elizabeth high school um, and they're a resident of the city. So they don't necessarily have to go to high school in Elizabeth. They just have to be a resident. Yeah, right. So if they sign up, uh, what, do they, what do you do then? Call them and say the first session is such and such a day? Once they register, they go through an application process, which is just basically getting their basic information. We then um, give them a call, let them know when the first workshop starts. And we usually kick the workshop off with a show me the money workshop. And the show me the money workshop is all about how you can get the scholarships. Show me the money workshop. Is that yeah. what it's called? That's what it's called. That's it's called, it's called Show Me the Money because, you know, they really need a lot of students um, sometimes, you know, if they come from a, 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 a low economic background feel like they cannot go to college because they don't have the money. And basically our job is to show them the money where the money exists. Well, if, if you're, if you're uh, talented or bright enough or do the SATs well or whatever the proper terminology is to get into a college, most colleges and universities figure out a way to get you through it. They usually do, you know, but somehow you get stuck, you know, with financial aid and kind of knowing how to navigate that process. And it's a tedious process, you know, and that's kind of the preparation to the real world. You know, if you can navigate through financial aid and, and working with the registrar, then, you know, you can pretty much... College navigate. courses are pretty easy, then, if you can figure that system out. <laughs> if yeah. you figure that out, you're good to go. And Stanley, uh, we're coming up on prom season, right? We are. And then... Uh, some of the girls about dresses. I read a story in the paper where they get dresses in Staten Island. Are we doing that? We are. We're doing the uh, prom dress drive um, in our Building Future Leaders program. We have a subcommittee of, of girls um, who've been working with, uh, well, mentors who've been working with our young girls called the Be Real program. And they're sponsoring not only a Be Real boutique for prom dresses, but they're also doing a prom dress drive, which actually takes place on Saturday, April 13th at Jersey Gardens Mall where we'll be recruiting dresses and I'm um, getting dresses from people who want to donate them you know because some chances are you well, they're doing this with a, some of the young girls that got were victims of Hurricane Sandy and may not have the resources to buy uh, a dress and w is this the first year we're doing this? this is the first year that we're doing it and uh, you know it due to the hard economic times it's, it's, it's definitely a necessity for us to kind of reach out and do something different you know and this was a new initiative um, that was spearheaded by the young ladies in our program who said, hey, let's do something for, you know, our peers and really try to help out. So it's been how, do we, how do you deal with sizes and things and, uh, I mean, matching it up? Uh, it's got to be a little bit hard, Well, interesting you know? enough, we have um, somebody who's actually donating their services um, 
to do alterations to the dresses. So, you know, if the dresses don't fit or if they need to be enlarged or, or, or brought smaller or be adjusted all together, we'll have somebody on site that's going to be working with the young ladies. We have makeup artists. We have accessories being donated. So, you know, it's the whole gamut. Oh, good. Um, so the dress drive happens on the 13th. The actual um, event where the girls can come get, get the dresses happens on the 20th at the Steve Sampson Center. Okay. And the, and, and the prom is shortly thereafter, I guess? The prom is in May, yes. It's in May. The, the, as you know, the weather's changing and summer's quickly approaching. And summer youth is always difficult. Matter of fact, now that I have you, there's a conference call with the president coming up on Thursday, I think, that I'd like you to be part of. And they're talking about summer youth opportunities. Great. So uh, what, what type of summer employment is out there for the youth? Well, we have various types of summer employment. We have our um, community service worker um, employment that we, uh, we have our youth work at the summer enrichment programs that we sponsor, um, where you can come to our office at the Office of Youth and apply if you're ages 16 and, and older. Um, it's, it's limited positions available, but we take some of the most qualified students who are in college or who are trying to, you know, just basically, uh, you know, make some extra summer cash and they're ready to be mentors to young children. They can come to our office and apply for summer jobs. We also have the Elizabeth Works Program, um, where you can stop by 205 First Street at the Elizabeth Development Corporation and see Ms. Harrington and Ms. Perkins, who's running a great Elizabeth Works Program, which hires a number of summer uh, kids for the summer through different corporations here in the city that have partnered with the Elizabeth Works Program. Now, the, you have to be 16, I believe, right? You have to be 16 for all of them, yeah. yes. They can't be less than 16. Do they need working papers? They do need working papers they can get at the high school or at our, at our office. And the working papers process is relatively easy, or is there a fee it's a, to that? It's an easy process. It costs, um, it, it costs, it's, it's free of charge. Um, basically, they have to have the employer to sign the working papers. They also got to have their guidance counsel sign the papers, and they have to do a uh, physical. And uh, you have to be a minimum of 16 before July 1st or June 1st. Do you know that? Or, uh, you or have 16 sometime this calendar 16 year? 16 sometime this calendar year. This calendar year. Yeah. In, in most cases. You know, in our case, we do 16. Um, and our, with our office, we do 16 years. You have to be 16 years old at the time that you apply. So for you got to be born in 1997 or earlier. I'm happy you got it. Bottom line. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> uh, is there a cut? I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get a lot. So is there a cut update for applications? Uh, it's ongoing. You know, the, the, the application process is ongoing. If you apply with the Office of Youth, um, chances are if you don't get in by the first week of May, you know, just, the line is just so long that, you know. Be put on a so on my way over to tape the show, I uh, received a phone call from uh, an email from the White House about a uh, conference call with the president talking about summer jobs programs and right. how much money he wants to try to get through. So you'll have to be on that call with me. Well, I'm there. Yeah, it's it'll be an interesting uh, see what the president has to say because naturally getting any through the Congress is difficult. It's going to be a challenge. Yeah. yeah, trust and believe the line is long already with a lot of youth wanting to get summer jobs. And interestingly enough. Whenever um, teens come to apply, it's usually ages 14 through 15 who really want to work, you know, and that, that's the, where the demand is, you know. But unfortunately, you know, there's not many programs that hire at 15 and 14. We also have a great partnership with the Retail Skills Center, where we've been working with Henry Jean Baptiste and um, Joe Oliver, who used to work there as well. Um, and we try to get the malls to hire um, a lot of our summer teens as well. And we also did, did the uh, United Assist program, where we hired um, high school, uh, college students who are currently in college from June 1st to the last day in August. So they get a chance to work with um, students who are traveling um, abroad or you know domestically and they assist them in the airport. And Stanley, uh, are there other summer youth programs for the kids to, to look at? You kind of ran through some, but can they go to the county or anywhere else? Uh, there is a, a county workforce investment program. There is a new uh, youth um, media academy that just started with work, work, Workforce Advantage and that's through the county. Uh, where the students get a chance to become reporters and they learn journalism and they actually get paid to do that. And that's at Workforce Advantage here throughout the county. And um, every year the county also sponsors the Elizabeth Works program and they have different initiatives that come out. And Stanley, uh, how's the uh, SOAR program and other things doing? Pretty good. You know, we're now uh, moving yet to another summer. I think we're in our, I think it's 15, uh, either 15 years now um, with our summer program. And that's going to start, um, it's six week, it's a six week program starting uh, July 8th to August 12th um, this year. We'll be at School 23. We also have the Safe, Pro Safe Haven program, which is on uh, First Street, 161 First Street. And we have our Building Future Leaders program, which is a high school program for our teens at the YMCA. And the YMCA recently did a, a number of renovations. We have a great teen center. Um, the students who apply to the high school program get free membership to the YMCA. 
They also go on college tours. We do career development. Um, they also get an opportunity to register for the SAT program as well there. And, um, you know, with free membership to the Y, we express uh, the need for health and wellness and physical fitness. You know, a couple of times that I've been at things, I've seen kids come back and they said, hey, I uh, really like the program and they've aged out or they went to college. It must be pretty rewarding. It is. It's a great feeling to really um, see what the kids have, uh, you know, accomplished in their lives. A lot of them come back for jobs. Some of them we've been able to hire. Um, some of them we've made great references for, and, and that's one of the key things that we're known for. We give them good references if they, uh, you know, if they stuck with us throughout the years and, and worked in our program. Before we close, uh, you have a dare calendar here that you wanted to show off, and I got a real kick out of some of the artwork the kids did. Uh, yes, this is our drug-free calendar, 2013. We're working on 2014. I don't know if you can see it. You know, this is it right here. And, um, you know, the kids, we had a, uh, a dare contest, um, a dare poster contest where the kids got a chance to create pro, um, posters on anti-bullying. And it was a great initiative, and we're doing another one again this year. The applications are going out, and the DARE officers are going to put them out throughout the schools. Um, we'll be going to be collecting the, um, the posters at our DARE Day Jamboree taking place uh, May 3rd, uh, which is the first Friday in May. And um, they'll be due, the actual calendars will be due May 10th the following week. But, you know, we're taking them at the Dare Day Jamboree. So if someone wants information on these programs, how do they reach you? They can reach me at 908-820-4032 or go to the city website, www.elizabethnj.org, and look up our youth services program. Stanley, thanks for taking the time to join us on the show this evening. I Thank appreciate you. it. As always. For Stanley Neron of our Office on Youth Services and for Mr. Wade Woodson, who is on the first segment of the show, I'm Chris Bolwage, and we'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.